Hello! I'm Ryan DeYoung, and in this video, we're going to talk about why high school students should start taking aviation concurrent enrollment courses. Doing this in high school is not only fun, I mean, learning about helicopters and cool things, but in the state of Utah, concurrent enrollment is only $5 a credit. However, if you can't do concurrent enrollment, there is another option called Early College Online. Those are only $75 a credit. Man, if I could go back and only pay that much for classes in high school, I would totally go back and do it. So, what classes can you take while you're in high school? Well, we've got five of them that you can take. One of them is air transportation. This is a fun history class that talks about aviation from the beginning as turbines got built, going through the airliners, going all the way through even social media and how that affects how people fly today. That's a fun class. Another class that we have, really awesome to learn about aerodynamics. This course is gonna teach you why this plane is able to float in the air by using the surfaces on the aircraft, right? Or even how this helicopter, by spinning these blades super fast, how that thing is able to stay in the air and fly. That, that class, you're gonna learn a lot about aviation. One of the next classes that we can do is aviation meteorology. In this class, we talk about all things weather, like the clouds, the weather, the temperature, and why things are happening the way they do. We're also gonna learn how to read charts and understand what the weather's gonna be like and the area that I'm gonna be flying in. So, the weather that you're learning outside is in this book, and everything inside that meteorology class is super beneficial to your flying career. The next class we have, aircraft systems. In this class, you'll learn about all sorts of different types of systems. And by systems, I mean things like engines, the different types of engines on the different types of aircraft, the different types of cooling, electrical system, fuel, and landing gear. So aircraft systems is a really super important class because you're gonna be learning all about the systems in all the aircraft you're gonna be flying or maintaining on throughout your whole entire career. That class is a lot of fun as well. Our last class, after learning about all these different classes that you might wanna take and still not quite sure if you wanna do aviation, our aviation orientation class is a great icebreaker. You can come into that class, learn about all the different aspects of aviation, not just about being a pilot or being a maintainer, but maybe airport management or being cabin crew on an, on an airliner somewhere. So we look at all the different aspects, even going into space and NASA as part of, of aviation. So look into that air, aviation orientation class as a really good option for you to kind of learn what aviation might have for it and if it might be for you. Okay, so now that you've learned a little bit about our courses, there's this type of class. Or there's this type of class. Today, we're gonna be learning about angle of attack. Our aircraft has to stay in the air somehow. Our blades on a helicopter or the wings on an airplane must produce lift. Lift is produced by our airfoils, our wing or our blade, producing that lift through what's called the angle of attack. And that kind of stuff is what you're gonna learn in our aerodynamics class. I mean, why would you not wanna take a super fun class like that and learn about how an aircraft actually stays in the air? Aviation is seriously so cool and has so much to offer. If this is something you're interested in, talk with your counselor at your high school and let them know that you're interested in taking our courses. You can also email us and let us know your questions or even visit our website. Found at suu.edu slash aviation, you can find any information you need about our program. For concurrent enrollment, click on programs, concurrent enrollment, Here's the website for our stuff. You can look at the concurrent enrollment and early college online requirements to participate, description for the program, course descriptions that talk a little bit more in depth on what our courses cover, the cost and the methods of delivery. Um, great place to, to find that information. We also have concurrent enrollment courses for our maintenance technician program and our Utah Aerospace Pathway program. And all of this information can be found in the description below. Well, that's it for this video. Subscribe, like, comment, and share, and we'll see you next time.